Hey everyone, and welcome back to Quintel Designs for our HD video tutorials. Today we're going to be making a simple wood texture. Reason being, when I surf the internet today, I found it seems that the last wood texture tutorial ever made was made in 1991 for some reason. Uh, and I think it's time to revisit it and do it in a video form to be a little bit more digestible. Let's jump into Photoshop and get started. First we'll go to File, New, and set your dimensions to 900 by 600. This won't be too big of a document, you can make it any size you want. We're going to make a new layer, and reset our swatches by hitting D on the keyboard. Now we'll hit Control Backspace, and fill our new layer with white. Then Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Now, here we want our Amount 150, Distribution as Gaussian, and Monochromatic checked off. We'll hit OK. Now on the same layer, we're going to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, with our Angle at 0 and Distance at 80. Hit OK. So now it's time to cut off those edges that are sort of useless at this point. We'll do that by cropping, and you can see we actually have a brushed metal look, but that's another tutorial for another time. Now, let's go in and liquefy this layer. The first thing we're going to do is grab the bulge tool and set our size to 350. Here I want you to just click very sparsely on the canvas, and that's good enough. Next, we're going to take our Pucker tool and set that to 250. Click here, 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 all sorts of places just to give you that uh, uneven look and actually undo some of the bloats that you did. So you're just getting more uneven pixels than an effect. Finally, grab the Twist tool and everywhere you see too much of a straight line, just give it a little bit of a twist and hit OK. Now you see the edges have come in, so we'll recrop again just a little bit, and we're about ready to add some detail to this wood. So we're going to first give us some more contrast by Filter, Sharpen, and Sharpen. You can see that adds a little. Let's hit Control F and add a little bit more. That really makes the whites kind of bright and blown out, so that's exactly uh, what we want, some tougher, more grainy contrast. Next, we're going to use a filter that took me about an hour to learn how to pronounce. It's the Crack Lure filter. Filter, texture, Crack Lure is how it's pronounced. And my settings here are almost right. Let's do the spacing at 100, the depth at 3, and the brightness down to 7. We'll hit OK there. So this is about the texture I was looking for. It's a little bit like bark, but um, you'll see here we're going to add that cherry wood feel to it um, and really bring it all home. We'll make a new layer. And our first color we'll pick. Start off with red and then just drag it up a little bit into the oranges. For number nuts, that's 9E. 4A00. Our second color, keep it all the way in red and go almost down to the bottom. That's one and then all zeros. One zero 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 zero. <laughs> Finally, make a gradient, a radial gradient, and you can put it anywhere. Set it to multiply mode, and as you can see, a very simple, very rich, deep, colored wood texture in Photoshop in about five minutes. So go nuts, uh, have a lot of fun with it, and share your fun on the internet and let us all see. Have a good one and keep designing.